Even 42 years ago, scientists had an idea that something was coming. In combination with the seismic precursors we've seen, it looks like there's a very good chance that there will be an eruption. But decades ago, there was only so much they could predict. We are very proud of our technology, our instruments, our computers, and our own intelligence. Yet they were no match for the mountain that day. The U.S. Geological Survey says this disaster, an eruption that killed 57 people, lahars that destroyed buildings, ash that coated towns hundreds of miles away, sparked advances in science to better protect us today. Inside the state's emergency operations center at Camp Murray, advancements in technology are helping them better monitor changes at the five active volcanoes in Washington state, not just Mount St. Helens, but also Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, and Mount Adams. We might not be currently doing anything, but they're kind of at that point where as soon as magma comes into their main bodies, they could start moving towards an eruption. Networks of seismometers, LIDAR, and geographic information systems tools now give them real-time data about changes to Earth's surface, allowing for constant updates to resources like this threat map. Along with eruptions, they're worried about lahars. In recent years, school districts and communities have held more drills, and more tools are being put into place for detection. Anything we can do to add a couple minutes to that is going to help people evacuate on time. Just weeks ago, the USGS released new computer simulations showing possible lahar arrival times and flow depths near Mount Rainier were a flow to occur. The big takeaway the Emergency Management Division hopes people will get from this is that the threats of volcanoes and lahars are active and real in our area. They encourage you to read up on whether you're in a hazard zone, and if so, sign up for alerts, pack an emergency bag, and learn how to evacuate.